Hello everybody, I am Tom and you are watching me play Baldur's Gate 3. Also, all my characters are ugly now because I made them all take uh, illithid tadpoles to get more powerful. But on the plus side, we can now all fly, but we're on the outskirts of Baldur's Gate. Which is really fucking cool. Time to get exploring, I think. Anything of use? I'll take that. There's a bunch of shit here. Weirdly, a bunch of shit that it seems I'm okay to take. Always room for more? Let's keep going. Uh, waypoint discovered. Do this one here. Hey, kid. Um, excuse me. I can't find my mum. What's your name? Jenna. And uh, my cat is Grub. He's shy. I'm not. My mum is called Emery. She went to go get some herbs for her spots. She was sick, and she was supposed to come back the same day. That was last ten day, though. Hmm. Sounds like your mom's probably dead. That means you don't come back. My mom is coming back, though. She's looking for me. If you see her, tell her Yenna's looking for her. It's really scary when you're alone without your mom. I believe it. The next urchin that tries to pick my pocket will lose its hand. <laughs> Please don't mutilate any children, Minthar. Eh, why not take its head? If I take its head, how will it learn from its mistakes? I love Even how fucked here, up we are. <laughs> a child deserves a second chance. Huh. I am reminded of the Brayrin, the stench streets of Menzo Baranzan, where the sick and the outlawed make their homes. Despite the destitution, there is profit and opportunity to be found in such places. If one is willing to wade through the squalor. I tend to agree. So many questions I want to ask here. Um, the reason I was so dismissive of that kid, by the way, is one, my guy's a piece of shit. Why not? But two, I did ex exactly the same as Minthara here. I assumed she was picking my pocket, so I just didn't want to deal with it. Um, I'm curious about Menzo Browns. Tell me about your home. From the still dark waters of Lake Donegarten, to the Black Academies of Deerbresh, it is a city of wonders and terror. But it is not my home anymore. If I were to return, I would be denied all of its wonders and shown only the terror. Hmm. Why can't you go back? For my people. To reject Lolf is to reject life. I am an apostate and would be executed. Though I am proud, I prefer exile to death. Fair. What was your life like, though? I am a daughter of Menza Baranzan's most ancient and powerful house, the Bainry. I lived a life of privilege and danger. My home was at the tallest point of Kuel Arzol, the place of the nobles, a plateau high above the city's sprawl. I enjoyed every luxury, whether harvested in the Underdark or stolen from the surface, and I survived my first assassination attempt while I still suckled at my mother's breast. I tasted her blood that day. She covered my body with her own and a blade bit deep into her chest, almost puncturing her heart. When I came of age, she tried to take my life herself, and I gave her fresh scars to match those she earned protecting me. Hmm. It's an interesting dynamic. Is she still alive? Dialogue broke? I expect so. If the world were to end, I think my mother would survive to fall over the ruins. Fair enough. 
Um, little wonder to find you find it hard to make friends if your own mother tried to kill you. She taught me to be resilient and to guard my heart from those who cannot be trusted, literally and figuratively. When I choose to let somebody close, I do not do so lightly. That gives a great depth of meaning to the bonds I do share. Makes sense. Is this your first time in Baldur's Gate? Yes. I only know it through history books and hearsay. A city of murder and grief. I expect mm. it will live up to its legend. Probably. This seems out of touch and broken, but I'm going to ask it anyway. Is Kithra truly invulnerable? I fought at his side once, shortly after my conversion. And when the fighting began, he led his troops from the front and cut through the enemy like a scythe blows. And I've already read this. And down on him. And before long, his face was a mask of blood. When we won the day, Ketherick's armor was bent and shattered. But his flesh was unmarked. No, we need to hit him smart. There is a connection. We must find it and destroy it. I am very confused why that dialogue choice was there again. Something broke somehow. Um, there was a weird thing with a patch rollout where they had a uh, patch rolled out and then they had to roll it back to fix a bug and then roll it forward again. So maybe it had something to do with that. I'm going to talk to this woman's cat. I'm just a cat. P -p please talk to Yenna. Why are you so scared? Well, why are you so nosy? Hmm. Is Yenna mistreating you? Y Yenna is my best friend. She's kind. H help her, not me. Do you know what happened to Yenna's mother? N nothing good, I don't think. She was so very sick. Then maybe she made like a cat and went off to, to spend a last life. Hmm. May I pet you? P please don't. Hmm. Been mistreating your cat, Yenna? Please don't look at me. Interesting. Oh, yeah. Oh, um, hi. My mummy is coming. I think. Very strange. There is a bunch of refugees around here. Alright, cool. So. Free Orpheus, help Kithric Voss. And we've lost the same thing. I guess let's do a bit more exploring, shall we? Sure, I'll talk to people. We told our son that this is a holiday to spare him the truth. We don't have homes to go back to. Yeah, makes sense. Nearly there now. You can see the city. Up on the hill. Ombudsman Osmond of the Fist. Turn back, citizen. No passage in this direction. Why not? It's bloodier than a butcher's backyard out there. Piles of dead absolutists, and a few of our own as well. The cultists assaulted the gate, armed to the teeth trying to break in. They nearly had it too, before the steel watch intervened. Hmm. Steel Watch, is that some sort of fancy new rank of City Watchman? <laughs> a little more than that. You'll see for yourself soon enough if you head to the city. Interesting. What well, a dead. Interesting. So they have like a new elite unit? Seemingly? Um, I think the main city entrance is that way. Because if I zoom in... That's the city, so what's this way? 
More outskirts by the look of it. I want to kind of explore outskirts before I go to... Earthquake. Whatever it is doesn't bode well. No, it doesn't. They did. There was a cutscene where they were mentioning earthquakes. Ox again. Hey, buddy. No, incapable. I remember you from the Druids Grove. You ready to reveal your secret yet? Not for you to know. Hmm. Ah, come on. Now you've piqued my curiosity. How do I have so many bonuses? Four from favorable beginnings, four from persuasion proficiency, and four from persuasion expertise. And sure, I have a plus 15 bonus. And I still roll the fucking natural one, are you kidding me? I had advantage. It was a double natural one. 31, that's a bit better. Well, come close. Your mind to mine. Are you satisfied? Hmm. These are the least bovine thoughts I've ever seen. What are you really? Keep quiet, and you won't have to find out. I think my current theory was that he was a Yugoloth in Shape Change. Is that a th uh, your secret? Whatever it is, is safe with me. Nah. Whatever you are, you're coming out of hiding now. All I wanted was a bit of hay, a good brushing, and a clean stall. The simple life. Is that so much to ask? Huh. It's an ooze. Interesting. Fair enough. I can probably kill an ooze. Could've just told me what you were, bud. But no, you had to be all bitchy about it. It has a lot of health, I will point out. But another fight. Let's go. I'm gonna have to stand in acid for this. But what you gonna do? Um... Time for a cup. Cool. Get out of the acid. Get shielded. Well, he does a lot of damage. That is certainly a thing that he does. Um. Granted, I'm in acid, so I'm probably taking a bit more damage than I would be. Um. I mean, I think, honestly, I just want to hit him as hard as I can. Right? Like that.
He's resistant to lightning damage. Should have remembered that from my D and D knowledge. Haste to star in. And then go to a star in. Turn someone inside out. So many attacks per turn. I love it. Um. Don't really have much else I can do. I can switch it So we're gonna want a star ant up. I think once again we just attack. Unfortunate. Can't give up, not now. Speaking of hope, mass healing word. off balance actually do I can't remember um dexterity disadvantage on strength and dexterity checks and attack rolls against it have advantage beautiful nothing will stand in my way nice Minthara I think just attack. We need to get the divine smites in there. Hat of fire acuity. Whenever you deal fire damage, you gain arcane acuity. We also have shapeshifters boon ring. While shapeshifting or disguising yourself, gain plus D4 bonus to all checks. Breathe deep. Cool, I suppose. Um, well, I found the ox. He was an ooze. Wasn't really expecting that, to be perfectly honest. <sighs> Off we go, then. You still have beacon of hope up? You do. <sighs> Full heal on everybody. Donations. Hmm. For what? Do you know our voice? The refugees. If you don't have anything to donate, you can get going. Hmm. Could just steal it. Hmm. I'd like to take the donation into the barn myself. Easy done. Well, if you must, I suppose it saves me the walk. But if you're gonna do it, hurry up.
I say, terribly decent of you to come over and exchange pleasantries. Hmm. Seen anything interesting while you've been here? Oh, folk come, folk go. It's a little dull, to be frank. The room next door has rather reeked of late, though. And that's coming from me. <laughs> <laughs> the room next door has reeked, huh? Interesting though. The room next to him is kind of stunk. Why would this room here stink? Very strange. And the innocent. If we do nothing, the innocent will suffer just the same. We have no good choices. Burning people on a pyre. Rechte. Hathran Rust. Welcome, friend. You've joined us as we honor our fallen dead. A somber time, and you've brought a somber guest. I did not think you would willingly return, Spawn. Well, indeed. I was rather hoping I'd never see you people again. Honestly. Frey, thou disc Durovna. Frey, Vald Iskablast. I feel we're intruding. We should leave quickly. Calm yourself. <laughs> you will not be harmed. Our leader has called off the hunt. She wishes to speak to you. Im orak nete. Krasin tra. Vampire hunters, I guess. So. The impossible spawn walks among us in the blazing sun. We have been looking for you. Interesting. What do you want with us, Darian? The last time your friend came to our camp, he stole our children, our future. When I was hunting you, I was to bring you back here, interrogate you, discover how to save our children, and then destroy you. But things have changed. You have changed. Is it true you left your master? That you broke the spell that binds you to him? Uh, well, I, I mean, uh, kind of. It's a long story, honestly. Hmm. What business is it, of, is it of yours? For those your friends stole from us, it is a matter of life and death. Eh, not really. We have tried to save our children once already, attacking Kazadorzar's palace at first light. Even then, it was too well defended. But if his own spawn approached, someone he thought he could control, he would throw his doors open and welcome you in. And once inside, you could do what we could not. You could save the children you damned. You don't know Casador like I do. He's merciless. You want me to march into the lion's den and save your children. But I promise you, they're already dead. Hmm. Yeah, he's right, you're too late. I know our plight is grim, but if there is even a chance to save them, we must take it. If our children are truly gone, then we ask for blood. I know you can understand that, Spawn.
We can't help you. There's nothing more to discuss. I hoped to find at least one monster that could be redeemed, but it seems not. So, you leave us no choice. You are too dangerous to walk this world, Spawn. If you cannot be redeemed, then you must be destroyed. Unexpected. I mean, I guess you're all gonna die then. I mean, fine. Weird choice, but okay. <laughs> Sure, I'll take it. This only affects enemies, right? Enrage me? I think he enraged me. Clever. Irritating. Mass healing wound. That should work. Annoying. It's so many crits, it's annoying. Fucked. 
It's better. Some of the reactions were turned off. It's kind of annoying, but it's fine. Um... Annoying. Fuck it. Beautiful. She's a barbarian. Interesting. Yeah, figured that was happening. Fit through the middle there. <sighs> Misclick. How do they crit so much? Ludicrous. Starion, please. I keep psychic backlashing, which is great. How do they crit so often? It's insane. Finish him off. Aim through the window, which is really annoying. Can I see through the window? Why, yes, I can. Surprise, motherfucker! Do I have any res scrolls? I don't know if I do, to be honest. On your command. No, I don't. So it's it's just down to keeping everyone else alive for now. Um, In 
What's up, bitch? Missed an 85, really? If Shadow goes down, we're kind of fucked. I really need Shadow Heart up. She's the only one I have with Revivify. A simple task. Throwing still counts as an attack, which is nice. I can fly, motherfuckers. Do here shatter? Probably because it hits both. Really can't see here. See a line of sight should come up to here. It does kind of work there. We're gonna dash. Hello, motherfuckers. Fortunately, I couldn't make it the whole way there, but I can, uh... We're in this action dash. I think I just hit him. Go for 30%. What 
is the path interrupted by? That fucking rock, I see. That good? Yeah, that works. Can fly, motherfucker. This way. Take the wood from the cart too. That'll be good for fire, if nothing else. Hmm. Cool. So. What I need is Revivify, which is a level 3 spell. Drop blindness for Revivify. I need a level 3 slot. Worth the rummage. Elixir of Arcane Cultivation could do it for me. Seems like a waste. <laughs> you know what? Is it a waste? Maybe, but I feel like it might be the way to go. Is there any other way I can do this? We're going to drink that. Revivify him. Health. I need to hold on. Hey, Starion. Worms Crossing, the welcome mat of Boulder's Gate. This is it. I'm almost home. Um, are you worried, Casador? Funny at your back? I won't lie. The thought hardly fills me with her glee. Even with my newfound advantages, he's still an incredibly powerful vampire. But he's arrogant, too. If he does hear I'm back, he'll try to take me and expose himself in the process. Then I'll be able to strike. Oh. And how will you strike exactly? You won't be alone. <laughs> Neither will I. Darling, at least I hope you'll come along for the show. But regardless, the plan is simple. Find him, stop him from gaining almighty power, and then really enjoy killing him. <sighs> and if I can seize that almighty power for myself, well, all the better. Hmm. Beautiful. Cool. A couple of things we want to do. The Curse of Vampire. Let's read that. Hack and close and beware the vampire. Beware its cold beauty. Beware its charm. Beware its curse. Above all, beware the pale noble. For the vampire cannot bear to be of the common folk. How doth one protect from the beasts? Walk not in blackest night. For the vampire loves these nights more than any other. If you must walk, do so by the light of our moon. And take care. Carry the blessings of the marks of, our God, of your gods at all times. But remember, your home is a fortress. It protects you. It, if protected well, if you hear the knock in the night, be wary. Let no stranger into your home. If it be a friend, look upon them. Do you find them pallid and wan or wane? See you any mark upon their necks. See you any dirt upon their clothes. Unless their need is great, turn away all but the most trusted. And if the beast finds a way into your home, flee. Leave lo love and family behind. You will not save them if you fight. You will not see them again, but you will see you, they will see you, pale and smiling, calling them into the night. All right, everybody. Once again, I recorded for like three hours rather than, you know, just doing an hour and saying, let's end the episode and then doing another one. So this is going to be the end, of the end of this episode. We're going to split up the recording. If you like the video, please leave a like. If you're not subscribed, please consider subscribing. As always, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye, guys.